At the Economical Center here in, Vias, in Naga Vasa State, where Biasan's government and everybody is thanking God for seeing us through this red Brazilian 2023 plot that has ravaged every part of Nigeria. My name is Robert Nera Uribe, and come out on this channel. Please uh, do well to subscribe. Nigeria, but 
good to be the president for some time. It's only God that can lead us to this world. The number of people who act as political miracles in this country. So I have to commend all of you for what you have done. And let me sincerely thank the clever men that continue to work every day to make sure that this state of uh, uh, government of addiction continues. For this year, let me again thank for the nation and the wife, the founder of Dunamis Church, one of the young, relatively young church, of course, the young, young man, so they just believe that they are old church. And that is making significant impact, not only in the international and in the church and the leaders that people respect. Thank you. I have to thank. Remember the first time I encountered with you was when I was the president and we, we came to meet me. Before I go to the state house in Nigeria, government officials don't go on pilgrimage to Israel. We send our own brothers and probably our wives that go to pilgrimage. When I became the vice president, I was the first government officials in Nigeria that went to Israel. to pray for the country. Because when I became the president, I spoke with the governors. And some governors started following. And even states, when the governors are Muslims and the governors are Christians, they sent the president of the government. And it's one of those programs that Paul was invited for a special prayer for this country. And you came up to you for what you are doing for us. My brothers and sisters, I don't want to overemphasize the issue of the disaster that before us as the people. No, it's national, so many things are affected. But the impact of the country, more than they can ever say, more river than they ever the lowest part of the country. I'm sorry by that you don't have that for the land. So, like, the chairman of the Elders Forum said, everybody is an IDP in Bayer's If we force out of your house by water, the human population that will come into your house will put you out of your house. So that is the condition we are passing through. And I know in 2012, when we had that flood, when I was still in office, I visited quite a number of cities. My last president also visited. I personally visited uh, Sarapa, Adamawa, Kogi, uh, uh, Delta State, Nampra State, Bayeta River. We visited the number of So I sat into myself. And this time around, though I don't have that capacity to go around, I cannot go around, I'm no longer in office. But I've been discussing with you from all the states. Places that the 2012 they cover. I come back this year. If I my compound, what is my city room, if it was literally got flooded and we mark the place, this year is higher than that by over a meter. So definitely that this year's flood is more devastating to all of us. And I agree that people to show interest. I'm not going to speak for the federal government because I'm not an officer of the federal government. But I believe help will come. I say I believe in the sense that I've discussed with the president and I've discussed with the vice president. The need to help. <laughs> and both of them promise. Probably the bureaucracy of government has whittled down some of this. I believe, I believe help will come. And they promise me so I continue to remind them. I believe we have to come. My brothers and sisters from the state, we empathize with all of us who have been so impacted by the floods. And for us, coming today, 2nd of November, when our houses are still under water, for a Thanksgiving service, is significant and unique. And bringing a man of God like Paul and Nature and wife, coming to speak to us and to bless us. 
six to go or the I thank you. Let's welcome the mass choir as a listen to all before we hear God's word. The mass choir, God bless you.